Hi everybody and welcome back to another episode. Today I'm going to show you how to make this um, scallop bag from the Sizzix uh, Big Shot uh, scallop bag die. And it's cute, it just holds a nice little bag of treats. But when I assemble it, I did not put the sides on, I just did the um, outer side. So just set the sides, you don't even have to cut it. If you cut your um, cardstock at like two and a half inches, it's just enough to cut the, the scallop side. But what I'm going to do here is just fold on the score lines. And using um, Close to Cocoa ink, I am going to um, ink the edges of the, the cardstock, including the fold lines as well. Okay, now that we have that done, um, what I'm going to do now is um, I'm just going to assemble the bag and I'm going to use the library clips that are in the Stampin' Up! catalog. And the clips um, are one and a half, or I'm sorry, not one and a half, but a half inch um, library clips. And again, they're in the Stampin' Up! catalog. And they come in um, chocolate chip, whisper white, and old olive. And I'm just going to use this. What I'm going to do is put my candy bag on the inside and then use the library clip to hold the bag to secure the bag inside of the, the bag. Well, yeah, the bag inside of the bag. <laughs> okay, now using uh, Whisper White cardstock, I am going to stamp um, the little duck from the Animal Crackers stamp set, and I'm going to use Black Stays on Ink. I love this duck. It says, you quack me up. Isn't it cute? Okay, now to color in the the duck, what I'm using is the So Saffron ink, and when you squeeze the ink pad, you'll be able to get um, some of the ink onto the inside of the lid, and then you can use your blender pen to uh, color in your, your image. Okay, why I'm doing that, um, I just want to tell you something really quick kind of excited. I have a new website. It's creationswithchristina.com. Um, it's just, I'm just getting it together, but it is, it is up and you can go ahead and look at it, but there's not much on it right now. So just wanted to tell you about it and I'm very excited. Okay, once you're done using um, your one color, before you go to your next color, you just want to wipe your blender pen onto a piece of scrap paper just until it runs clear. Okay, now I'm going to use only orange and just a color in his beak. Okay, now that I have that um, colored in, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to punch out the duck using um, a circle punch. And this punch measures one and one fourth. Um, again, it's a circle punch. And to center it, um, you, when you flip your punch upside down, you can see your image through the, the hole. So I just use that to as a guide. And now using a piece of old olive card stock, I'm going to punch out with a um, 1 and 3 eighths circle punch. And then also with a piece of So Saffron card stock, I'm going to use the scallop circle punch to punch out the scallop. Now that I have that done, what I'm going to use is um, Stampin' Dimensionals, and I'm going to put that on the back of the Whisper White cardstock, and we're just going to create layers. Don't forget, you can order any of the Stampin' Up! products from my Stampin' Up! website at www.creationsbychristina. At stampin' .net. If you have any questions, you can always email me. My information is on my website. Okay, now that I have that done, I'm going to use a piece of old olive grow grain ribbon. I love this ribbon. It's I love the color green. It's, I, I really love green. 
And what I'm going to do is just put a little adhesive. Usually I use a glue dot. It's, um, it holds better, but just for the video I'm just using my snail. Um, I'm just going to wrap it around my finger and that just creates the little bow I want. And I'm just measuring here to make sure the ribbon looks okay and that it was long enough. Um, you can use your snail, but um, I found sticky strip is much better to use. It's stronger, so it'll hold better, especially with the ribbon. And now what I'm going to do is just adhere this to the, um, to the scallop bag. Okay, there we go. Thanks for stopping by.